Right, there's going to come a point on the test that you're going to have to do some graphing. So, for those of you who've done an 090 class pre kind of recently, um, you might recognize some of this. But um, graphing using the slope and y-intercept. Okay, now I'll just uh, switch over to uh, a blank screen. Okay, so, so we're familiar with this. Y equals mx plus b. Okay? Now, that is the slope intercept form of the equation, the graph, okay? And what we find here is, is that this number next to the x, when it's written as y equals, is the slope. That is the slope of the graph. Okay, so I'll draw that there. And this at the end, the b, the number at the end, that's the y intercept. And the reason why it's the y intercept, I should abbreviate it like that, the y intercept, okay? is that when x equals 0, okay, when x equals 0 on a graph, so here we go, which is kind of crucial this, when x equals 0, in other words, okay, I haven't moved left or right, it's just, here's the x equals 0, up and down here, uh, then you get just this, think about it, you put x equal to 0, I've lost my cursor, where is it? Okay, there it is. If you put x equal to 0, this all of this becomes zero, and you are just left with b the y-intercept. Okay, so that's y. But anyway, so something like this. So if I just write this, y equals two x plus three. Then two there, that's the slope, and three is where it's going to cross the y-axis. Okay, so that's the y-intercept. So let's have a look at the actual question. Okay, so here we go. Graph the equation by using the slope and y-intercept. So we have a slope, m, that's how we designate it, m, equal to 4 thirds. All right, that's the number next to the x. We have a y-intercept, where well, it's going to cross the y-axis, of negative 4. Now we actually write that as 0, negative 4. Do be aware of that, a proper coordinate is 0 on the x-axis, negative 4 down the y-axis. So, I'm going to put a point right there. Look at that. At negative 4. See that? I'll put a little arrow. Da, 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 da. Right. There at the negative 4. That's what that is. Right, now, this is all you have to know about slopes. Okay, if the slope is 4 thirds, then what it's doing, it is going up 4, up the y axis 4, and along the x axis 3. Rise over run. Okay, look at the book if you need to. So, up 4 and on 3. So, from this point, from that point, negative 4, the y-intercept, I'm going to go up 1, uh, 2, 3, 4 to here, okay, right there. Then go on 1, 2, 3 to here, all right. So there you go. That's the other point that's got to lie on the line. So as long as you've got the two points, you can draw a straight line through them, and that's it. You're finished. So remember, there's the y-intercept, okay, again, that's the y-intercept. And from that, I went up 4 and on 3. The 4, the numerator, is the y direction. The 3, the denominator, is the x direction. And I can draw some fancy straight lines. Please make sure it's a straight line. I'll pick a straight line, the tool here. Right, so it's going to go... Doo, 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 doo. And don't forget, these will go on forever. Don't just kind of leave it there. It will go up 4 and on 3 forever. Uh, so I'm just going to do that, and basically that's it. Okay. Uh, don't just put it between. Just get a nice straight line through those two points. But they do go on forever, remember. Whichever way this is you're looking, okay, on this one. And that's it. You've just used the slope and the y-intercept to graph that.